In 2018, I was living in London when a relationship broke down. I hit rock bottom. I was 41 years old and single yet again, after about 20 years on and off on the dating scene. Whilst my friends were settling down and meeting their perfect match, I was still single and searching. Was I being too picky? Or was I just unlucky in love? Over the years, I tried many things to meet new people. I'd been, I'd been on plenty of singles holidays. I'd, met, you know, got, I'd joined new clubs to meet new people. And I'd been on plenty of blind dates, set up by well-meaning friends. And of course, like most single people, I'd also spent a lot of time on internet dating. Now, I know for some, internet dating is real excitement. It's a real buzz. But for me, hmm, internet dating was one of an experience one of disappointment, frustration, and generally rejection. Way too many weird profiles, way too many strange messages, <laughs> and plenty of disastrous dates. Now, you may think I'm about to tell you about those disastrous dates. This would be the perfect platform to tell you about the date with a catfish, the date with a man that stood me up, the date with a man that could barely string five words together. <laughs> However, I can't bring myself to give them the airtime. Instead, my story is about sinking and then quite literally swimming in the dating world. So back in 2018, a short while after the breakup, I was offered a new job 7,000 miles away here in Singapore. In September 2019, I moved here and I met new people, I joined a cycling club, I tried dragon boat racing, I made mooncakes. I was having a great time. And then COVID hit and with it came Circuit Breaker and I was isolated on my own for nearly three months. By the time Circuit Breaker was lifted, somehow it had been over two years since I'd been on a date. I was more than ready to meet someone, but with all of the restrictions that were in place due to COVID, there was little option than to turn to my old friend or foe, internet dating. So it was some cynicism that I found myself signing up for Tinder again, creating a profile, reviewing matches, and, you know, would my experience of internet dating in Singapore be any more different than the last 20 years? Surprisingly, relatively quickly, I was matched with a guy who seemed fun, normal, and willing to meet up. We went for a date, and we got on. And for the second date, I suggested doing an activity, and we went kayaking in Kalang Reservoir, just like 200 metres from here. Despite, saying that my, despite my date saying that he had some experience kayaking before, he seemed a little hesitant in his boat. We paddled to the middle of the of Kalang Reservoir, and then I heard a splash. He'd fallen in, and he was waving his arms and sinking rapidly. Oh, God, I thought, here we go. Yet another disastrous internet date. But drowning, really? <laughs> That's quite something to get away from going on that third date. Thankfully, the rescue bait came over really quickly and got him back in his kayak. And with a grin on his face, he paddled back over to me. And he told me that he'd wanted to find somewhere to put his water bottle. And so he'd unscrewed the big plug in the middle of the kayak and promptly started to sink. He also cheerfully told me that he thought he was going to die as he couldn't swim. And he didn't realise that the life vest he was wearing was going to keep him afloat. We paddled back to the shore and we headed to the bar. I know I needed a drink after all that excitement. He was sodden from head to toe and he sloshed his way to the bar. Now, he showed real character because over a beer, he was more than happy to laugh at his misfortune and laugh at the situation. And he showed great adventure for going on a water sports date when he couldn't even swim. Now, it wasn't meant to be between me and him, but I fondly remember that date as being one of the funniest and most dramatic dates I have ever been on. He had restored my faith in internet dating. 
A few weeks later, I swipe right, and I was matched, and I'm happily with a fantastic guy, and we've been together for nearly a year, and we're looking for a place together. <laughs> However, guess what? He doesn't like heights. Date night at the climbing wall, anyone? Thank you.